Only 10 days left until Medjed's deadline. What are the Phantom Thieves doing? Are they just going to let Medjed have their way? What is Medjed trying to do? Is this going to affect us? We have nothing to do with this. Way too hot! Nice! Hmm. By the way... <laughs> How does your schedule look today? I wish for you to join me if possible. Thanks for your concern. I would like to enter Mementos again today. I believe that place holds the truth of the human heart. Let us be off. Hmm. This place never fails to amaze me, no matter how many times we come. Where does this passage even go? It feels as though I'm being sucked inside merely by gazing upon it. So, this is the heart of man. It is ugly, yet beautiful as well. That duality is what makes humanity such an interesting subject. As you know, I have been confused recently about the reason for my art. Did I want to be recognized, or did I want to capture pure beauty? Was it due to my talent, or just my upbringing? Each answer would seem correct at first, yet only prove itself false upon a more in-depth examination. Ren. What are your thoughts? When my mother was painting the Sayuri, what do you think she was thinking about? Such love is almost embarrassing to have pointed out to me. But you were probably right. But... However... I believe that was not the only thing she thought about. It seems the Sayuri was meant to impart something to me, and to all others who view it for that matter. Love, regret, loneliness, anxiety, calm, and hope. All of the emotions my mother felt conveyed plainly to the viewer. That is why it has such a profoundly unique impact on those who see it. My paintings pale in comparison to such depth of meaning. How could I have hoped to convey pure beauty with my limited palette? And yet, that painting has kept me going this whole time. During particularly difficult nights, it was there to soothe my sadness. It acted almost as a ray of light, cutting through the, the somber darkness. How could this be? I'd wanted to create a similar beacon of hope for others, but it seems I lost sight of that goal. Look, the world is a dark, unrelenting place, Ren. But that is why I am going to wield my brush again. To give hope to all those who see my paintings. Yes. Thanks to you. You chose to help me work through my problems instead of leaving me to my sadness. Now, I will use my art to paint over the blackness of this world. It shall become a vis vivid realm full of hope. I expect it will be a most beautiful sight to behold. Perhaps you will see it someday, Ren. All right. <laughs> this radiant light growing within me. It must be the light of hope. I shall paint it. I can sense shadows in the area. We should leave mementos. Ah, you two. Oh. Kawanabe-san. On your way home? You clearly have time on your hands, Yusuke-kun. I'm on my way now to prepare for the competition. Speaking of which, do you plan on entering? Indeed, I do. Your pride may not be too pleased with the outcome. After all, the winner's spot is not simply yours for the taking. I suppose whether you ultimately opt to enter is entirely your decision, though. The more the merrier, yes? <laughs> I see. The winner's spot. Ah, oh, yes. I was hoping to prove my talent to him by taking the top prize home. That no longer matters to me, though. I'm going to enter my painting merely so others can be exposed to it. See you later. Man, it 
it's hot. Hey, hey! Making curry. Making curry will cause time to pass, but you can make a special curry that restores SP. This may prove useful for exploring palaces. What do you want to do? Hmm. Yep. Yeah, make sure you close up. Hi! My deadline is coming up fast. So give me some info. I'll be waiting at crossroads. Okay, that'd be great. Oh, honey. Is this weather a result of climate change? Okay. Sit down. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections who knew where Kaya was are gone thanks to the chief and my publisher. Well, say something. Huh? You're a cat person? That's a bummer. I like dogs myself. Ugh, pulling these consecutive all-nighters is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Of course! They'll fire me if I show any signs of weakness. The chief really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. <laughs> He's like some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see whether I can find Kaio before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you be doing- you do something about the chief before you keep chasing Kaio-chan's case? There's nothing I can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. And despite how he acts, the higher-ups like him. I have no one to go to. It's over. Yeah, he didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. But at this rate, you won't be able to continue your investigation. What do you think, kid? Oya's going to get crushed under the weight of her quota if the situation doesn't change. I need to do something about the chief and help her. Ugh, I'm gonna die. Why? You gonna try to find his weakness? His name is Shinpei Honjo. I heard that he's a good husband and he used to cover economic foreign policy. Ugh. I hope it's just me overthinking things, but he's seen your face, you know. Don't try- go- don't go trying anything heroic. She's saying this for your own good. Got it, kid? I wonder where Kayo is. Sorry, but I don't feel like getting any info from you today. Sorry. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you around. I need to free Oya from her chief's oppressive demands. Yo, I'm thinking of heading over to the hideout tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. And finally, Makoto will hang out with me again. Hey, I'd like to speak with you about Eiko again. Please come to school when you have the opportunity.
What do you think? Thank you. I'll be waiting. Uh, well, actually... So, I spoke with Eiko and she said her boyfriend was okay with the double date idea. She asked me to show her your picture, though. Apparently, um, she thinks you look a little lame. She told me that my boyfriend isn't in the same league as her Sukasa. But I think she'll change her mind when she sees you in person. Do you have time to spend with me? Don't worry, I'll back you up. <gasps> Finally. Thank goodness. I'll contact Deiko. Shall we go? Let's meet at the diner as I mentioned before. Yo, my name's Sukasa. I heard all about you two from Eiko. So, I heard you're the student council pres, Makoto-chan. I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, um... Yes, I am. Totally. Four Eyes here's your boyfriend, yeah? Y yeah Huh. Looks like you guys don't get along too good, though. It's like your love level's rock bottom. Are you seriously dating? Right. We've, like, only been dating for a couple of days now. We're so jealous of the love you and Eiko have, though. Oh, I get it. You just don't gotten any affection compared to us. Mm-hmm. Hey, babe. Did you do something special today? I don't remember you looking this sexy. Oh, Tsukasa! <sighs> Sorry, I have to use the bathroom. Later, lovebird. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to ask you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Aiko? Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering when our honor student was gonna show her true colors. That reminds me, Aiko said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Why's that, huh? I just wanted to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl! You really care about your friends. Good stuff. I always say friends are like super important and shit. Speaking of which, a friend of my GF is totally a friend of mine. How about you tell me your digits? <sighs> What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I, I, um. Nobody asked you, four eyes. Anyways, Eiko already gave me yours, Mako chan. We good. I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Eiko to your club, are you? What, you suspecting me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts are just flirts. But my love with Eiko is pure as snow. Don't twist the story. Huh? Is something wrong? Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. Well, I should get going. It gotta be work soon. Me too. Bye! Hmm. I hope he's not tricking her. But no matter what I might think, I still don't have any proof. And above all, Eiko seems really happy. Am I just getting, getting in the way of their happiness? I suppose so. I mean, I really am worried about Eiko here. In the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. It seems that host has sent me something already. What is this supposed to be saying? It's full of emojis. It's me, Tsukasa, heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so happy to be friends with you, Mako-chan. Clapping emoji, clapping emoji, hot springs emoji. That was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Eiko. Thank you very much. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have really panicked had I been alone. I honestly despise how immature I can be sometimes. But I'm working through that with your help, so thank you. I can sense Makoto's trust in me.
All right. Shall we go? We should get going too. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Hey Ren, thanks so much for everything today. I feel strangely exhausted. It reminds me of when we went to the red light district. Even after we split ways, the host kept sending me messages. He uses these weird symbols. I have no idea what he's saying. I want to ignore him, but I shouldn't for Eiko's sake. Oh yeah, that'd be a good excuse to ignore him. You have some great ideas. Thanks, I'll try responding with that. I just can't shake these doubts about Eiko's boyfriend. I can't tell if he's a bad guy, but he doesn't seem on the level either. I'll need a little more information. Thanks for all your advice. I'll talk to you later. Ah, you're back. Hmm. Hey. Hmm. Yep. Make sure your clothes up. Huh? There's a place I'd like to show you. It's a bit of a hole in, the, hole in the wall, but I'm fond of it. We should be able to relax there at least. That incident last time won't happen again. I'm about to head there myself. Would you like to join me? All right, thanks. Let's meet up in Kichijoji. I'll be waiting. This is it. It's a rather nice place. It's not quite an apology for that little incident back at the cafe, but rest assured, we're safe here. I'm a regular. It's nice to take some time off when we can, don't you think? It's just a jazz club. You get to hear some great performers here. I'm glad you're so taken with it. Is it safe to assume you've visited places like this before? Very well. Let us go. What will you do? Well then, why don't we get some drinks? Nothing in particular, but if you don't mind me choosing, then I'll put in a random order. You don't have any soft drinks you actively dislike, yes? Thanks for waiting. Here's your order. We have a special performance today, so I hope you enjoy it. Looks like it's starting. Let's sit back and enjoy the show. I enjoyed listening to music with Akechi, but it's Lin. Not that I'm complaining. Mm. How relaxing. I really do like coming here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Work and obligations take me to quite a few restaurants and cafes, but this place is a little more special to me. I guess you could call it my go-to place. Do you have anywhere like that? Hmm. A cafe, hmm? Sounds like you have, a good t have good taste. 
Really? So you came to Tokyo on your own, and now you live in a cafe loft. Impressive. It's like something out of a story. Though I have to say, I'm envious. You must be quite well stocked on coffee and curry. I live alone myself, but I rarely have the time to cook my own meals. That reminds me. Do you cook? Very impressive. I don't have much experience myself. Even my efforts in cooking class have been underwhelming. In particular, an attempt to fillet a fish went poorly. I usually come here when I need some time to re really think on my own. So, chatting with you here is really quite refreshing. Speaking of which... You know, you're the first person I've ever brought here. It's not like I was keeping it from anyone, but I suppose it goes to show we do have some strange connection. All right. Ah, uh, it's gotten late. We should probably be going. Goodbye. Hey, it's me. Are you good to talk right now? Wasn't the music today wonderful? Live bands always have this certain power to their music. Certainly, the point of jazz is all those jam sessions. A sea of improvisation, both complex and organic. As each player incorporates their own flavors, a natural melody is born from chaos. There's something about that strange, erratic synchronicity. It's a euphoria like when I manage to solve a case. Well, I'm glad I brought you along then. I thought I'd have more luck if I brought someone who I know can keep up with me intellectually. Okay, well, you just made it. Y you just made it obnoxious. Jazz is a deep and complex style. I'd love for us to sit down and really talk about it sometime. Ah, <sighs> I should let you go. Somehow I always end up talking more than usual when it's with you. Expect another invitation soon. For now, please excuse me. So many drinks. Hey, hey. Well, then. It's really sunny today, so be sure to stay hydrated. I'm thinking of doing a different kind of training than usual. It's not sunny, it's cloudy. What do you think? Do you have time to try it out right now? Oh, Senpai, you really are ready. <laughs> We're going to the batting cages. I hope you're excited. Um, probably didn't expect to be meeting me at the batting center, huh? I thought so, but I'm glad you decided to humor me. Batting helps train your reflexes and dynamic vision. It also strengthens your stance. And really, those are important elements in gymnastics, too. It all sounds pretty plausible, right? Actually, I just wanted to come here. Honestly, I wanted you to see me hit a home run. Um, I remembered something from when I was little. My father used to take me to the batting cages a lot. The other kids were scared of getting hit by the baseballs, but I just love swinging the bat around. Every time I hit one, I kept thinking, it doesn't matter how fast they are, I'll slam them into orbit. I thought if I tried to push myself, put myself back in that headspace, I could get some ideas on how to get my boldness back. What do you think? That could work, right? Yes. I think it'll really help. Next up to the plate, Kasumi Yoshizawa. Here I go. 
Now, come on! Were they always this fast? I'll get the next one. It's the next one that counts. Okay, no more warm-ups. From now on, it's gonna be 100% home runs. Uh, what the... I'm sorry. I knew I was rusty, but I didn't expect to miss all of them. I never see the ball coming, and I keep flinching. I didn't think my slump was hitting me this hard. Senpai, you're right. I'll give it one more shot. Stay calm. Don't be scared. Eyes on the ball. My turn. Here I go. Come on. I did it! We did it! Senpai! I hit the ball! I knew you were watching me! That's how I did my best! Up until now, I've only been working for myself. I was so desperate to make a good impression. But since I started hanging out with you and Mamiya Senpai, I started feeling like I wanted to live up to your expectations. And that feeling helped me feel so much stronger. I'd forgotten how it felt to work that hard on someone else's behalf. Thank you so much. Ever since I met you, Senpai, I've been discovering so many things about myself. But now, I feel like I'm closer than ever to getting my confidence back. Please, listen to me. Oh, right. I've been feeling a lot more limber and energized lately, too. I'm not totally back to normal yet, but even my grades have been going back up. Thank you very much. Yeah, I still need to show you what I can do. Next time, you won't have to watch me fumbling with the bat. I'll show you an all new full power gymnastics routine. I can sense Kasumi's intense trust in me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast birthed a bond clad in the heart's strength. This union. Born and embraced by will unyielding, shall become the balefire that lights thy path. Thou hast gained a glimpse of the faith's truth, granting thee further power to tread the abyss. So yeah, this is Max Faith for now. We are done now. We can progress in January. It'll make sense later. All right. Anyway, you've still got a lot to hit. I think it's your turn, Senpai. Give it all the guts you've got. Smash it into outer space. I sweated it out in a batting session with Kasumi. Oh, sorry. I need to get going. Good effort. Thank you very much for today. Oh, Amamiya Senpai. Thank you so much for coming with me today. I haven't swung a bat in a while. My arms still feel kind of weird. I was kind of hoping to knock it out with a clang, but I'm just happy I managed to hit the ball. It's nice to dip into sports aside from gymnastics. Was there anything else you wanted to try, Senpai? Oh, swimming! That's a great full body exercise. Good for a well-balanced muscle tone. And since it's not as stressful on your bones and joints, it enhances your cardiopulmonary functions as well. Perhaps we can go next time. Or, wait, do I even own a swimsuit? I don't think I have anything other than leotards. Um, I have a request for you, Amamiya Senpai. May I ask you to join me for more things from now on? When I'm with you, I just feel so much more capable. Whether you want to go train again or just hang out and chat, please... Reach out whenever. Okay, I'll let you go. Ah, you're back. What do you want to do? Hmm. Yep. Make sure you close up.
station all along The racing twilight zone Without a clue Without a sign Without grasping hands The real question to be asked Mayor, man, Chairman Fukurai visited me. If you have some time, can you stick around and chat for a bit? Um, okay, let's go somewhere else. Um, so I've been thinking a lot about our last meeting, and I wasn't completely honest with you. But I've decided I'm going to tell you everything about Fukurai-san as well as the real reason why I decided to leave my village. I already told you about how it was a small traditional town tucked away in the mountains, right? Well, when I was young, I predicted a major earthquake. The villagers revered me as a messenger of God. But when I kept predicting disasters, they started blaming me for everything. They said I was cursed, a monster. So I locked myself away. People would still come by to throw stones through the windows, though. Mm. Things went on like that for some time. Until one day, an angry mob came and burned the house down. That's why I decided to come to Tokyo after graduating high school. I wanted to change my fate. I didn't know anyone, but I needed money. So I took the first job I could find at a small nightclub. I found myself surrounded by dangerous people. But that's when Fukurai-san approached me. Um, he's a psychic too, you know. He knew from a mere glance that I was a runaway who had just come to Tokyo. Then once I told him why I decided to leave my village, he immediately invited me to join up with the ADP. That was when he gave me the moniker of the Maiden of Relief. He told me that I possessed a divine power to save others from misfortune. That I could become more than the monster people saw me as. I broke down the moment he said that. <laughs> Deep down, I knew all along that the Holy Stone didn't have any powers. But I thought I might be able to save people, even though I was a monster. Or perhaps because I was a monster. So the truth is, I was only ever selling those Holy Stones for my own personal benefit. I'm a terrible person, huh? My fortune said you're supposed to hate me. I never thought you would overturn even that fate, amami san I've made up my mind. You know what? I see now how wrong I was. I'm not going to keep turning a blind eye to injustice. I'm going to expose the chairman's fraudulent activities and wake the other members up to the truth. Thank you very much. For listening to me today. If there's ever anything you need to talk about, I'd be glad to return the favor, amami san I can sense a strong result from Chihaya. All right. Special fate reading. By getting your fate read, you can find out a confidant's future abilities. They will then be viewable from the confidant menu. Okay, or we could just look them up online. Uh... Now that I think about it, though, just saying the Holy Stones are powerless won't convince people. The ADP holds what they call seminars for believers. But it's really just brainwashing. That's why everyone thinks they'll be unhappy without a holy stone. Honestly, I don't hold any sway there, even though I'm the Maiden of Relief. Um... Just who is the chairman? Let me think it over some more. We can talk further next time. Thank you. mamiya san please hear me out. Now that I think about it, I barely knew anything about the chairman nor the ADP in general. So I'm thinking of doing some research on the ADP first. I'm done turning a blind eye. Are you worried about me? <laughs> that kind of makes me happy. But yes, it'll be alright. As long as I have the trust of my clients and believers. I am the Maiden of Relief, after all. From now on, I will see with my own two eyes rather than through cryptic fortunes. 
I'll let you know if I find anything, so please, promise me that you'll come by again. Now, I should be going. Go look for a book. There's something I'm curious about. I'm going to Book Town in Jimbocho. Can you make some time since it's summer vacation? I'd like you to help me look for it. Thank you. I'm actually thinking about looking into cognitive science. I'll give you the details tomorrow. Good night. Futaba's mother's research, huh? I wonder if we'll find anything in Book Town. Jimbocho, famous for its booktown shopping district with great curry to boot, tomes and spice, old books piled high at the specialty shops are truly a sight to behold. All right. Excuse me. I'm interested in cognitive science, the field Futaba's mother was researching. I doubt we'll find any public information, but maybe an older academic journal may mention it. Thank you. I do hope we find something. I want to learn more about cognitive science while we wait for Futaba to regain her strength. If only we could understand it more in depth, maybe we could solve the mystery of the metaverse. It would make traversing it easier for us, too. Oh, um, hello. Um, goodbye. Excuse me, please wait. Was there something you wanted to say to him? Oh no, nothing in particular. I was just surprised to see him here. I didn't mean to intrude between you two. Um... No need to be con so considerate. He's just carrying my books for me. Is she a friend of yours? Warrior? We just play shogi together. Is she the professional shogi player you had mentioned before? The master strategist? I see. I admit I only know the rules, but I'm intrigued to learn how a professional shogi player thinks. Is that a book on shogi tactics? Oh yes. I come here to purchase old shogi strategy books from time to time. Pardon me for asking. Could you teach me some strategies? I believe this knowledge would benefit me greatly in the future. Oh, sure, if you like. Well, if it is about shogi, then... To attack, you will need to be creative with your approach and sacrifice pieces with no remorse. So, plan on enticing your opponent to focus on your sacrificial pieces so you can advance a counterattack? Yes, you seem to have a talent for this. Another strategy I enjoy is to use bait pieces to draw your opponent to your side of the board. Hmm, I see. That way you can surround them and... Oh, I'm sorry. What she was saying was so interesting I lost track of time. I'll catch up with you later. Could you look for the book we had discussed earlier? So, nothing promising, huh? Shall we return home? That was cute. One week left until Medjud's attack. I wonder what's going to happen. Didn't they say they would confiscate our possessions? We have nothing to do with this. Why is this happening to us? How will the Phantom Thieves take responsibility for this? Man, it's hot. Only one more week until the deadline. Hey, you see the forum? Yeah, people have been telling us to hurry up and protect the civilians. They're just saying whatever they want with no regard for the consequences. God, I seriously can't believe they're going on about all that. By the way, how's Futaba? At this point, we are desperate for her assistance. She definitely mentioned Medjad back in the palace. I'd like to believe she's planning something. Even Makoto's gone over to the wait-and-see dark side. 
We don't have much time left. I know it's frustrating, but there's not much we can do. Yo. Hey. Yes. 40, oh. 40 drinks. What do you want to do? Mm. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. I'm a chef chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off my Whatever he wants, I don't care. One hones both the body and spirit. Trainees gather there to test and push their limits using various pieces of equipment. I had not expected a rehabilitation facility on this side. As wardens, we must see such training for ourselves. Does such a location sound familiar to you? Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. It could be the gym across the street. What'll you do? A game? What's a game? Oh, a game. So you do have an idea of where it is. Then today you're getting a special training regimen. Guide me, inmate. If you don't keep up the pace, you will die. Now, take us there at once. Oh my. So this is a training area. This is what you used to train? It's rather different from how I imagined it. Indeed. I imagine the equipment here is having more spikes and chains. Hey, inmate! What's that? Okay. That's a bench? Then show us how it works! Aha! By lifting the weight, you strengthen your arm and chest muscles. <laughs> but that isn't nearly enough for a real workout. You should increase the weight! We will assist you with that. <laughs> now you can train to your heart's content. We're deadly serious right now. I'm insulted you would think otherwise. Well, it appears we found the limit for your pathetic arms. Now, what's that over there? Another body training device? demonstrate its use for us. Oh, I see. You run on it to improve your stamina and strengthen your legs. Marvelous. What a fascinating contraption. Perhaps we should bring one to our room. We could force the imprisoned personas to run on it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. By the way, what does this button do? Out of breath already? You still have quite a ways to go. Okay. On to the next one. What is this bizarre object? Is that yet another tool for training? Hey, you interested in the wooden dummy? Hmm. Normally I'd say it's not for beginners, but I did just see you really sweat it out, so... Here, I'll show you how to use it. Work sloppy. Inmate, focus more clearly. Concentrate the power in your strikes. Was that really all? You couldn't even defeat a stationary wooden post? Were we to try it, it would be obliterated almost immediately. You weren't trying to destroy it? So, the real purpose is to polish your technique. That's a pretty roundabout method, but I do see how it works. Hmm. As far as phys physical training goes, this place leaves much to be desired. But it is admittedly sufficient for your rehabilitation. Here is your reward. It's been said that a sound mind requires a healthy body. Don't complain. The 
This has been yet another step towards your rehabilitation. Keep training yourself just, just as diligently, inmate. I escorted the twins back to the velvet room. doesn't seem right to me about Eiko's boyfriend. I don't have any proof, though. If you have the time, I'd like to consult with you on the matter. Yo. Hey! Hey! Nice! Actually, I don't have my umbrella, though. Let's just be out. Wow, no. I might be missing some vending machines every time I go around, like... Oh. But it doesn't really matter. It's not like we really need these anymore anyway. Oh. Time to talk about Eiko's boyfriend. Thank you. Let's meet in the student council room. We can talk, take the back entrance into school. <sighs> Eiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are reversed due to his work, so he often sends me a good morning late at night. Not sure. I definitely tell Aiko if he asks me on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Mostly messages like, how's your BF and hope you had a great day today. Do you think their relationship could actually be serious? Was I just biased to think that all he wants from Aiko is her money? Yes. I mean, it does sound like a TV show. A lying host that tricks women into debt then forces them to sell their bodies. But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. My father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that look specifically for depressed women in Shinjuku. It seems they take advantage of the loneliness those girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. Then after ensuring the girls are buried in cr crippling debt, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. There are other ways they force girls into it as well, Blackmail, illegal immigration. There are countless victims of schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particularly notorious one when... In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. At first, it was thought to be an accident. But at the funeral, I overheard my father's supervisor speaking with my sister. <sighs> he was saying my father had likely been assassinated. They suspected that the gang he was investigating hired the driver. I don't know. The driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. Either way, the gangs had been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. How did... How did your dad getting killed by a truck help the, the cleanup operation? I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for the incident with my father. 
Yeah, okay. I guess tell yourself that. He truly was, wasn't he? I wish I could be a little more like him myself. Instead, I've just been hesitant. That's actually why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch his evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from our father. Our mother passed away many years back. So when father was killed, we had to survive on our own. The responsibility, the pressure of that all fell on my sister. Because of that, she can't help but talk down on our father at times. She says death is no different than surrender. But I still look up to him. I was often lonely because of how much time he spent at work. But seeing him tirelessly pursue one case after the next was nothing short of incredible. That was how my father chose to live his life trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. Yes. Come to think of it, there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. <sighs> how have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? I see. You're right. I can still change my paths going forward. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Uh, oh, we were supposed to be talking about Eiko here. Sorry for going so off topic. Actually, you know, I've never actually talked to anyone about my father. It's such a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you. And beyond that, I think I understand my life a bit better now. Thank you very much. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Makoto. All right. Hmm? Oh, it's Eiko, gloating again. Maybe I'll, like, skip college and just get married to Tsukasa instead. I guess she's choosing how she wants to live, too. As long as she's sure she'll be happy. Oh, another message. Huh? You serious about a Mamiya-kun? Wanna have a double wedding? You're right. We need to make sure she doesn't go and reserve a wedding hall for us. I couldn't even begin to think about marriage at this point in my life. By the way, can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best method I have of keeping tabs on Eiko and Tsukasa. At any rate, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. All right then. Hey, do you have time right now? Sorry for venting so much before. I just wanted to talk about Eiko, but I got a little off topic. Thanks for still pretending to be my boyfriend, too. I don't trust Eiko's boyfriend yet, so can we keep this up until I can make a call one way or the other? Thanks. I'm counting on you. Let's see how convincing a boyfriend you can be. I'll talk to you later. Bye. situation is a lot tougher than I thought. I don't know what to do. Can we talk about it? Sorry to be a bother. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> so, the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP's seminar so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. Um, the ADP apparently doesn't profit very well, very much from the sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. They're, 
There, they give the patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. After which, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. <sighs> and I... I was a part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though, and those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Omamiya-san? These people are all heading down a path towards great ruin. <laughs> there has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right. I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down, too. That's... the only way. It looks like Jihai is not sure how to approach this issue. She might do something rash at this rate. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. Hmm. I'm the only one who can stop him, right? Hmm? Oh, the chairman? It's Yuichi Fukurai. Um, why do you ask? Don't worry about it. <sighs> oh! How strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. Um... I need to take care of the chairman for Chihaya. I'll have to think on this for a while. Let's finish for today. Good night.